There is a stat in Diablo Immortal that is extremely important. It's actually a secondary stat. On top of that, it is a stat that's free to play viable, meaning you don't need to spend money in order to acquire it. It also works very well on every single class. It's a generic stat that will transfer and you don't have to worry about which gear you're doing. Before we get into what stat that is, let's go ahead and talk about today's sponsor. Here is an interesting fact. There are many different and unique characters in Hero Wars. We have cyborgs, aliens, vampires, even furries won't be disappointed. My personal choice is Chaba. Find your favorite champion in Hero Wars today. Now the stat I'm talking about is of course going to be increasing your duration of beneficial effects. You see beneficial effect duration increase is so important not only because it is uncapped, meaning that you are able to stack this as much as you want, but there's multiple ways to actually get this. So you can realistically increase this percentage fairly high. Not only can you get it through what you would see with the reforged bonuses here that can increase it, but you can also get it through a gem which which is free to play viable. This is a one star rank 10 free to play available gem that you can craft, increases the duration of beneficial effects on you by 12% and increases your movement speed by 8%. Now there's a lot of skills and not only that, but actually before I talk about the skills, but there's also the Vithus, which will increase the duration of beneficial effects on you by 30% and Vithus is arguably one of the better sets. Now, why would this, be so important and what kind of skills is this gonna be increasing? Well, whenever you have a skill, for instance, Wrath of the Berserker, we'll use as an example, that's going to give you a beneficial effect, okay? Like a buff, essentially. This is going to increase the duration of it, which effectively is almost like a cooldown reduction, because what it's going to do is, if let's say you have an ability that's four seconds long, however, it has a five second cooldown, if you can increase the duration of that by 25%, then you have effectively a 100% uptime. This is where some of the best builds in the game is going to come from. For instance, if you look at a class such as the Demon Hunter, you're going to notice they have a significant number of uh, uh, essences that are built around a Vengeance type of build. If you look at these, you'll notice during Vengeance, every primary attack, you know, it will launch additional rockets, etc. So what you can actually do is you can stack a, a certain amount of uh, increased beneficial effect duration, and you can have your Vengeance effectively up the whole time, and you can build just around Vengeance. Now, even as a uh, barbarian, I have the same kind of concept. You see, one of my favorite builds in the game is this whirlwind sprint that leaves tornadoes, as well as the shoulders that are going to leave fire. And what I've actually been doing is I've been using the increased beneficial effect duration instead of some of my other gems. I've been using things like the blessed pebble over the chip of the stone flesh, for instance. And the reason I'm actually doing that is so that when I'm using the sprint build, as well as I am using the undying rage, they have a significantly longer duration than they normally would. And even in PvP, it's going to be useful for my class because things like the Undying Rage. But it's not just the, the class that I'm playing, it's not just Demon Hunter. There's a lot of case uses for increasing beneficial effect duration. By the way, Hero Wars is a world of six unique modes and 100 million players. You can play alone or with friends. Also, be sure to try out the Titans mode and become a legend. Play Hero Wars now. And the good thing about increasing your beneficial effect duration is it works on basically every class. I mean, even classes like the Necromancer, when it comes to things like the Parting Gifts, will have a very amazing combination because now that we have the Essence Mastery system out, what it actually does is reduce the cooldown of some of these abilities as well. For instance, if I go back to the Barbarian, the class I'm playing, one of the best offhands in the game is going to be increasing my critical chances of my attack speed for this offhand. Well, this one also reduces the cooldown so if we reduce my cooldown, but also we increase the beneficial effect, you can see how we're moving, basically burning the candles on both ends and moving towards that 100% uptime. As soon as you have 100% uptime, suddenly your build is uh, way better in my own personal opinion. You can also get this stat as a secondary, so you can get it on pants, you can get it on boots, etc. And as being able to get this on the secondary, it's another way to be able to stack this completely for free. In fact, I can't really think of a way that this is wellable other than just purchasing the reforged stones and then guaranteeing that you can sort of get that roll through the jolt type of stones. Other than that, this is one of the better stats in the game to farm if in fact you are free to play and it will open the viability of your account way up.
Now, one thing I've often seen confused with this stat is people who are using like a summon type of build wondering, oh, well, do my summons count as a, a beneficial effect? No, they don't. Actually, those are actually summons. So if you're going to have to use a different type of build entirely, you can see it's an entirely different status. Freedom and Devotion has increases the duration of your summons by 8%. So for instance, if you're somebody like a Crusader who has Banner without Arrow Keeper and you're dropping it thinking, oh, well, this is a beneficial effect. Well, technically it has a health bar and you're dropping it. So it's actually a summon, much like an Echoing Shade would be a summon. So just keep that in mind. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Here's a question for you. Where can you get 30,000 coins, 600 emeralds, and five awesome heroes to start dominating in Hero Wars right away? Too slow. The answer is in the link in the description below. Play Hero Wars now. Now, magic stats can have basically some of the best stats in the entire game. In fact, increasing your beneficial effect duration isn't the only good stat you're going to want to look for. There is another stat by skill cooldown reduced, which can equip on some pieces of equipment. For instance, your rings and your gloves, you can get this. You can even get it on your necklace as well. And you can see that's where I'm getting a large chunk of my skill cooldown. So I got 4% on the necklace. I have 4% on the ring, 4% on the ring. That's 12%, 3% more in the glove. So we have a 15% cooldown reduction if we look here i have a total of 19.5 percent once we add everything together so not only am i increasing my duration effect but i'm also reducing the cooldown of all of my abilities as well but one of the hardest stats in the game is also critical hit chance. You only really get this on your damage items. For instance, you can get this on your basic weapon. You can get this on your offhand. You can get this on your shoulders and your helmet. And you can see critical hit chance is fairly few and far between. Even though I'm using a character that increases my critical hit chance while I'm using Undying, it's going to pop up all the way to 55%. When you get a chance to get critical hit, you might want to consider picking that up as well. Some of the other more notable stats are going to be movement speed increase can be on rings, gloves, etc. as well. But there's one other stat if you're using summons. That would be damage taken and increased by your summons. You can actually get 10% row is the highest, meaning you can get 10% damage increase on each one of your rings. You can give it on your gloves. You can get on your necklace. If you do the math, that's 40% damage increase just off of four items right there. So while this video is in particular about uh, increasing your beneficial effect duration as well as your skill cooldown and the combination that comes with them, don't sleep on some of the magic attributes as some of these can be extremely important. And these stats are also stats that you can get free to play. These are just things you get by farming the game and getting the right items and paying attention to the magic attributes. I feel like this part right here, these stats, the secondary ones are the ones that people are sleeping on the most and very often can be some of the most important, not only for PvP, but PvE as well. So what do you think? What do you think the most important stat in the game is, other than combat rating? Because combat rating is honestly the most important stat in the game. If you don't have the combat rating, you can't do the content. It's that simple. But out of the magic secondary attributes, what do you think the most important is? I would rather have increasing beneficial effect duration, critical hit chance, skill cooldown, and movement speed before I would rather have almost anything in all of Diablo Immortal. Love you all. Consider liking if you want to help me out. Subscribe if you would like to see me again, and I hope you have a wonderful day.